All right, this side of the training center is starting to look like something, just so we can start tearing apart this side of the training center before next Monday. Got to get my buddy Tim over at Gray Bar, Mad Props. If you remember yesterday, I had the wrong, uh, I didn't have the illuminate button or here, and these were supposed to be black. He got us hooked up with that, so well, if I can figure out how to open a cabinet, there we go. And yeah, then I'll make it look a little neater, <laughs> although I don't know. Actually, it isn't a bad idea to have one odd switch just to make the machine really insane. Well, it continues. Uh, I got the two black buttons in and then um, I set the illuminated button down somewhere and need to get a spare. So I guess I'll be hunting for it for the rest of the day. By the way, we've been working on some upgrades. Uh, this is not just cosmetic uh, new framing. This was to give it a little more rigidity so we could add some items to the side of it. So now, there is some mounts here on the side. And yeah, as we've, as some of our heavier options, we started to have some issues with flex in the plate. So I kind of brought it up, gave us a lot more strength. And yes, we're already looking, we're gonna build out a pneumatic option that will bolt on the side of this. Try to play with this. Hopefully I'll have a video for y'all soon to look at, but probably integrate it somehow with the motor. Maybe the slide gate like the new Rogue Rig, not really sure. Of course, the other day I was talking about uh, <laughs> the need to set time. Here we are again. Uh, I am having, since we moved the smart cell, I think we're having an erratic issue here. And the last alarm occurred on October 20th of 2017. Actually, that's probably 20 October 17. If I scroll down a little bit, I probably could figure that much out, but there's no doubt. There we go. So, yeah, no doubt... Uh, I didn't set the time on this one, so I have no idea when what's happening. I have an unknown device I'm trying to chase down on the network. If I go discover device on the SIM IPE, and we let it spin up a little bit, that's probably enough. And I start hitting the up arrow. Well, actually, they're not even going to do that because who wants to scroll through a bunch of stuff? We're going to hit the OK button to filter and Oops, and we're going to filter by name. And I have this DHCP discovery device here that I'm trying to find. And I noticed there were a couple other ones in here. Now, this is cool. We can do a lot of scrolling, but let me show you something else you can do is I'm going to set this down. And then we're going to go over here, hit our start menu, and I'm just going to use a terminal emulator. Is putty, and the IP address of the SIM IPE is 192.168.2100, and I'm going to go for port 23, and then we're going to do a telnet session, and we'll click open, do a little bit of negotiation, and here we can get the list in CBS format, CSV format. So I'm going to hit C, enter. That's gonna export all that stuff it was showing out. Oops, and I hit the wrong button so you guys can watch me do that one more time. And if I was really smart, I would save this session, 192, 168, 2100, and port 22, and Telnet. We're gonna save this as the PLC, whoops lab ipe and we'll save that then i'll select it this time since i'll probably accidentally do something wrong again we'll get that list again now if you right click the gray area up here we can copy all the clipboard then you can open up any of your spreadsheet editors. This On this image, I have Leba Office, which is free to download. And we're gonna hit the paste. And then we are gonna use a comma separator. And we'll click OK. And that gets them all in here that it was discovering. So we can do a little more work on it now. So first I'm gonna take all this top part out. Delete those rows. And then mainly I'm gonna look at this protocol. 
So, and there's one of them right there, but I noticed there were a couple others. So now control A all that data and we're gonna sort and we do have columns. So we're gonna put that little header thingy on and we're gonna select protocol. And so yeah, we have ARP and that's kind of, we'll say Windows jargon of how to discover something. That's actually a, sem not a semi P, that's an uh, inductive automation ignition uh, PC. Your SIPs are usually your Allen Bradley devices. We got some Profinet ones out there, but yeah, I got a DHCP Discovery. It's just out there looking for something. Then I have one that's making an actual request at 192.168.135. And I have no clue where that thing is. I just got this gift from my loving wife. Let me get it on here. Can Nobody's you? perfect. I'm nobody. <laughs> Starting to put some finishing touches on it. Right now there's a big old hole here. So now, I need to go ahead and get that all buttoned up. Got it? Yeah. We've made videos on this connector before, but this still is probably the best way to terminate a lot of wires into your panel. If y'all didn't know it, there's Amber saying hi to everybody. But um, now one thing that looks weird on mine is I have these extra holes. These should be blanks, but uh, you know, part of this trainer is to show what's possible. So we're showing that this one here could have four, this one here could have two. Uh, yeah, I just went ahead and left them. Just a variety of wire sizes, just so when they have questions about them. So we'll pop that in. All the little things. Got this really good instruction thing that's supposed to go right over top of this, but of course, I mean, it won't work. So now we gotta figure out how to modify this to probably be over here. Also, <laughs> almost just like a typical machine, here's the electrical disconnect. And on the opposite side of the machine is the pneumatic disconnect. That was really smart. We'll call that real world when y'all are in the class. First impressions from Michael on this factory talk workbench we're talking about, design workbench. I, I think it looks pretty sweet. I gotta admit, I like the pared down interface. I, I didn't have time to play with it today. Um, I did not want to do this on the Rogue Rig. I'm not that crazy. So, um, I converted the standard trainer program over, and I'll probably try to convert the Micro 850 trainer over because it's an optional trainer. We usually don't use till Thursday or Friday, so I can probably fix it before then. Well, it's a good thing everybody decided to work a little bit late. I just realized I don't have a ride. Uh, so, <laughs> beautiful moon out tonight, though. See if I can get home in the cave dweller. You ought to check out his videos sometime. <laughs>